What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another Morales tutorial video. In this video, we're going to set up a Morales stream which looks at the USDT contract and any transfers of over 50,000 US dollars. So, here on our Morales admin dashboard, we've set the streams up. And over in the top right, you see these notifications popping up anytime a new transfer of USDT occurs, which has a value of over 50,000 US dollars. We can browse to different web pages, for example, the Morales YouTube page over here, and we should still get this transfer pop up over here in the top right. Like so, we just got a transfer of 70,000 70, here, 600,000. So anytime a transfer happens on the blockchain, they're popped up on your desktop. We're going to set up a Express app to do this. So please stay stuck in and I'll show you how to build this. Hey, I'm Jay, your Morales instructor from beautiful Finland. I got into crypto in 2020 and I've been building in the space ever since. In my free time, I enjoy running and at the gym and in the summer, you'll definitely find me at the golf course. Now, let's get stuck in and learn about Web3. All right, let's get started here in Visual Studio Code. I have a project folder open called Desktop Notifications, and we'll create a Express app here using Node.js, and that will work as our webhook. So from Morales side, whenever we listen to a new stream, we can send it to our webhook URL and then fire up the logic over here on our desktop to show us a notification. So run npm init to initialize a Node.js project. Press enter a couple of times. Is this okay? Yes. And now we have a package.json. Now we'll install our dependencies. So run npm i express nodemon. This will allow us to make changes to our express app and automatically update the webhook. And then finally, a package called node notifier. So this will allow us to make those notifications that pop up on our desktop. Run those and wait for those to install. Perfect. Found zero vulnerabilities. And we're ready to start by creating our index.js file. So run touch index.js or create it over here in the left side. And now we have an index.js file where we can create our Express app. To give us a bit more space, let's close down the terminal and start by importing Express. Then let's make our app variable using Express and then define the port we are going to be using on our local machine. I'll just use port 3000 in this case. And then make sure that your app uses JSON. So whenever we get a post request from Morales, it'll have a body. And if you don't make sure your app uses JSON, then it won't be able to parse it. So over here, app use express.json. That's it. And then we can finally initialize our Express app by listening to the port 3000. And every time we start the server, we'll make sure that we console log listening to stream so we know it's running. So now what we have to do is create a post endpoint, which will be our webhook URL, which will read whatever Morales is sending and then fire up some logic. Let's go ahead and create that post endpoint app.post slash webhook. And it has a request and response and then fill in the logic inside over here. So starting off, we'll want to see what Morales is sending us. So we create a webhook variable, which looks into the body of the request that's being sent to this post endpoint. Then in its simplest form, we can actually just console log the webhook and see what Morales is sending us to be able to then know how we can process this webhook variable. And then finally, we just respond with a status of 200 like so. So that is the simplest form of the webhook URL that we have to create so that Morales can send the webhooks of any new streams that are incoming over over here. And then we console log them on our local machine to see what Morales sent us. And we respond to Morales with a response status of 200. Everything was successful. Now go into your package.json file and to make sure we're using Nodemon, go over here into the script and add a start. And what it will be is Nodemon index.js and add a comma. So now every time we run in our terminal, npm run start, it will use Nodemon to initialize our webhook. Save that. And before we start this webhook on our local machine, we have to be able to post to this webhook on Morales side. So we'll use something called ngrok that creates a tunnel to our local machine so anyone can access it over the internet. So open up a new terminal window and make sure you install sudo npm i ngrok. I've already installed it, so I won't run this. But then all you have to do is run ngrok, HTTP, and the port that you're using in your Express app, which we're using 3000. So Type that in here, 3000, and that started. So now, effectively, our webhook will also be running at this address as long as we started over here. So go over here into the terminal and run npm run start. Forgot to add a space, so npm run start like so. Listening to streams, and they're also being listened to 
over here. So now next thing is going over to the Morales admin panel and setting up the stream over there. Rightio. So here I've logged in to my Morales admin dashboard. If you don't have a Morales account already, go over to the link in description and, and go set yourself up with one. It's totally free. Now go ahead into the left sidebar and select streams. And over here, we can create a new stream. Let's go ahead and create one from scratch. And then we have to provide a address we want to be listening to. And we're listening to the USDT transfers that are going to be over 50,000 US dollars. So let's go over to Etherscan and find the address for USDT. So Etherscan over here, we can just type in USDT and that gives us Tether USD. And we have the contract address over here. Copy that and jump back in, paste it in here. Next, we can give a description to this Morales stream we're creating. So let's just write USDT threat transfers over 50K like so. Then it prompts us for our webhook URL. So opening up your terminal where you have ngrok running, we should get this URL from over here. Copy that jump back into the Morales admin dashboard, paste it in here. And because in our Xbox app, we've added the post endpoint to webhook, we have to add that over here as well. So slash webhook. So that is where Morales will send any new streams. Then finally a tag, we can just say USDT 50 like so for example, now scrolling down, the USDT we're looking at is on the Ethereum mainnet. But if you look at any other smart contract on, on any other EVM network, you can select them from here. Then address activity, we want to get the contract interactions, and then we'll look at event emittance. So we can actually look at any events that the contract fires. So let's press that jump back into Etherscan, go over down here, the contract and find the contract application binary interface over here. So if we copy this, jump back into Morales, after we paste that in here, Morales will show us all the topics we can actually stream. So paste that. And here we have all the USD topics we could stream. So what we want to look at is transfers. This will give us a two address from artists and the value that was transferred. Let's click that. So we only want to look at transfers, but if you wanted to look at approvals, added to blacklist, et cetera, et cetera, you could do that over here and you can apply this to any smart contract you find on Etherscan or other EVM networks. So then we scroll down and here we have the option to provide some advanced options. This means if we don't want to get every single USD transfer of five cents, $2, whatever, we only want the whales that are transferring large amounts of USDT. We want to follow those. We can filter them over here. So let's create our filter now. All right. So initially this will be an array of filters we want to set. And the first filter will have to provide which topic we want to filter. So go ahead and add topic zero because these are the topics and we want to filter for the transfers. So copy that from over here, scroll back down over here, colon and parentheses transfers. So this is the topic we're wanting to filter. Now, then we've defined the filter below that filter colon and the object of the filter here. We want to make sure that it's greater than. So we provide the GT tag and then an array where we define what key we want to look at. So we're looking at the value key comma and how much greater than does it have to be? So we wanted it to be 50,000 USDT. Is that right? One, two, three, that's 500,000 take one zero away. And then of course we have to provide the decimals. So if we check out the other USD ether scan, we see that USDT has six decimals. So we have to add six zeros over in here. So go ahead and do one, two, three, four, five, six. And that will be the minimum amount of the transfer for our streams to notice it. And that is how simple it is. And if you're wondering where you can find these different filters, if you want to add other filters like less than or equal to, we have a GitHub page with a list of the different filters. Let me show it to you. So the Morales streams API. And if we scroll down over here, we can find all the different filters over here. So you can get the different operators and use case of how they're used. And there's even a code snippet of what we just did in the web UI showing you exactly how to use it. So I'll leave a link to this readme in the description below if you want to check it out. But that has our stream set up and we can go ahead and create the stream. And now that is successfully created and we can jump back into Visual Studio Code. And our first stream is just an empty object because we haven't had any USDT transfers yet. But now as we wait, we should start being able to see any new USDT transfers. And just like that, we just got a new transfer over here. And if we open this up a bit larger, 
what we see is we get this ERC20 transfers, which is appended with all the USDT transfers that have occurred. We get the from address, the to address, the value, the value with decimal. So if we want to get the actual USDTs that were transferred, which in this case was 250,000, in this case with 220,000, and we constantly start getting new streams as we get more USDT transfers. So that is what the webhook is returning us, which is very, very cool. So we can use this information to actually look at the last object in each of these ERC20 transfers keys to display that every time a new one is inputted and show it on our screen. Let's just go ahead and jump back into Morales to pause the stream for a second so we don't stream unnecessary ones while we're still developing. So now jump back into Visual Studio Code and let's go ahead and finalize our webhook to give us only the most recent stream and display it on our desktop as a notification. Radio, so we can remove this console log and rather make a for loop where we look into the webhook object and all the ERC20 transfers. And then what we'll display is for every ERC20 transfer, the two address and the value with decimals that was transferred. So firstly, we'll go ahead and extract the address that was sending the USDT. So go ahead and do const address is equal to the ERC20 transfers to key and we'll slice it for the first four characters add three dots and then we'll get the last four characters of the address so we don't display the whole address just to give us more space in our notification modal that pops up then we'll have to get the value with decimals and we'll round it to zero decimal points because it's already a massive amount over 50k so if it's a few cents I don't think that will matter too much so do const amount will be equal to as a number the ERC20 transfer value with decimals and then as I said we round it to zero decimal points and now finally I'll show you how easy it is to create that desktop notification we'll use the node notifier package we installed at the start so go ahead and add it as an import to your project notifier it will be requiring node notifier and then over here what we do is write notifier dot notify and then we'll provide an object with a title which can for example be new usdt transfer and then the message of the notification we can just go ahead and say that the address that we just calculated over here just sent and on a new row the amount of dollars they sent and that is it that is how simple this whole project was if we go ahead and save this now if you open up your terminal scroll all the way down you should see that Notamon just restarted our Express project. We're listening to streams, but now we just have to make sure that on our Morales admin dashboard, where we have paused the stream, we reactivate the stream, activate stream. Now it's activated. And if we go over to Visual Studio Code, close the terminal. And now any second now, we should get a pop-up over here. Look at this, 8 million USDT just transferred from this address to another address. And they're all being stored over here in our notifications. How cool is that? Just another transfer, 26 million at this time, not 26 million, 2.6 million. So a lot of whales be transferring a lot of USDT currently. How cool is that? Let's wait for another one here. Another one of 5 million. I guess I misspoke again. I think that's 500,000, but that is how cool it is. And you can be on any website, any page on your desktop and you start getting notifications. How sweet is that? I really hope you enjoyed this video and you can make use of these desktop notifications from filtered smart contract events. I'll see you in the next one.